welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to do a video on my natural hair i've been you know avoiding this not really avoiding it but every time i try to do it i just end up getting sidetracked because there's not really much to it i'm gonna tell you what i did to help it grow in a short amount of time and then i'm gonna show you the products i used and what i think really helped my hair grow so at the start of my natural hair journey i never relaxed the only thing that was unhealthy about my hair was the fact that i straightened it so much that the curls wouldn't show and i dyed it a lot like my hair has been a lot of different colors pink red purple um orange my hair has been a lot of different colors which was just not i'm pretty sure it was bleach too like i had a lot going on but um the start of my natural hair journey i'm gonna put like dates and pictures and photos because i just started the camera without like you know writing some stuff down so i'm gonna just insert stuff somewhere on the screen so the start of my hair journey was probably like maybe a i would say a year and a half ago or it just reached two years um my hair was about the same it was about right here maybe but it was it was very like thin looking and my curls were more like waves and if i have pictures of that i'll insert it if i don't then i don't i don't know if i save pictures of me like that my hair was always straightened so if i have pictures of my hair back then i will put it here um it was just not good like the curl pattern was not there um but yeah, I decided that I was tired of my hair and I didn't like it, so I cut all of it off. So, in the picture that I insert here, you'll see that I am bald-headed. Um, after that, I think maybe a week later, I decided to cut it again because I kind of had the front of my hair like hanging over my face. And I was like, this looks stupid. So... I went back and I cut it again and I think I have a video from that if it's not here this is gonna look really embarrassing but it's gonna be somewhere over here I have a video of me um showing you my second haircut I got and that's my hair it was short um I basically tried to cut out all the dyed pieces but there was a little bit of dye left in my hair so I love my short hair um for this time period I only used um I'll show you the products that I used. I only used this argan oil with, wait, no. This cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. And I do not switch up my products. I use the same thing from back then. So you just shake this, take it off, spray it in your hair, and go. Because with curly hair, your hair needs to always stay moisturized. Keep your hair moisturized. That's probably why my hair grew so much. Um, when it's dry, it breaks off. You know, then your hair stays the same length and you're like, what's going on? I should have been doing more deep conditioning. I feel like that would have made my hair grow even faster, but I'm lazy, so I didn't. Um, I also used Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner Anti-Breakage Formula. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this before yeah I use this also so with all these products I would probably use I would use like a liquid like this which was this if you don't want to get this one just get in a spray leave-in conditioner so I would use this and then I would use a cream at the same time if you don't want to use this one just get a cream so I would use these together and then the third product I used is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Jamaican? What the fuck is Jamaican? Oh, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. This is what this looks like. I'm pretty sure a lot of people also know what this is. And if I am using this, I won't use all three of them. I will use, wait, no, I confused that. If I'm using this, then I won't use this. I pick either or, I switch it up. So I would take this and use it with this. I spray my hair first 
and then put this on it afterwards um the third one no i had a fourth product i used but i don't have it right now insert a picture here um this is also one that a lot of people use it is from shea moisture 2 it is the i think what is it called i think it's the curl defining i don't know what what it's called but that one was like the shit before i discovered this one that one is also good once again just use it with this this is always in my hair business but use this this use this or this or use this and the other one i use that back to back to back every day it keeps your hair moisturized if you have like the same curl patterns as me um this is not even like my true curl pattern because it kind of got like manipulated is that how you say it? It kind of got jacked up because I've been like playing with it. I had it up. I had it down. This is not combed out. You know what I'm saying? But this is not my true curl pattern. It's a little jacked up. Mine is a little more defined than this. But that's all the products I use throughout my whole like up to now. Before like from short to now. That's all I used. Like I didn't do anything. Um, So... The first step I would say to grow your hair out is to cut your hair, okay? Just cut it off. Um, if you have, I'm not saying get trims, I mean Big Chop. Like, Big Chop is your friend. It's scary. Um, you don't know what kind of shaped head you're going to have or whatever, and it freaks you out, freaks people out. Like, get a wig, get box braids. That's what I did. I wore box braids, but not for a long time, only for a little bit. Because I love my short hair. You know, I thought I was going to hate it. But, like, once I got it cut, I was just like, damn, like, this is the life. Like, you wake up. You don't have to do your hair. Like, it's already dead. Like, that was my business. But, um, what was I going to say? Um, the first step to healthy hair is to cut out the damaged hair. And a lot of people don't want to let go of the length they have. But your hair looks burnt and crispy and it does not look good. So, just cut it off. And my hair grew back so fast that I miss my short hair. So, it really works. I'm not saying I don't agree with getting your hair trimmed. That's number two. I did not get my hair trimmed throughout this whole process. I feel like if your hair is healthy, it does not need to be trimmed. Like, I would trim my hair maybe once a year. And that's not even true to me. But um, if you had to trim your hair, I would trim your hair once a year. Do not listen to people when they say trimming your hair will make it grow. Your, your hair doesn't grow that as fast as you think. So getting your hair trimmed like every few weeks, like you're really just cutting it and cutting it. And you're like, where is the length going? And it's going to look crazy. Okay? So don't get trims all the time. Number one, where I say get a big chop, that's different from a trim. You're literally cutting off all your damaged hair and you have no need to get a trim after you do a big chop. So, with that being said, do not listen when people say trim your hair all the time. Number, what number is this? Number three? Number three? I don't know, I can't count. But the next thing I would say to promote your growth is to stop damaging your hair. And this is one, I used to watch hair videos all the time. And I cannot get with the program when they would say stop straightening your hair or stop dyeing your hair. I love straightening my hair and I just believe that it would grow healthy if I burned it up. I thought it would grow still. So I was doing my thing and my hair would stay the same exact length. And I was like, what the hell is going on? It's been five years and my hair is the same length. Well, um, it's not hard to um, figure out that straightening your hair is not okay. It will not. You know, it's not healthy. Your hair's not meant to go that way. Now, you can straighten your hair every few months, once a year, twice a year. You know, that's what I did at first. I was like, okay, I will wait six months from now and I'll straighten my hair. I will wait another six months and I'll straighten my hair. And then I got to a point where I do not like straightening my hair because I feel like it doesn't look good on me when I straighten my natural hair. Now, if I do have the urge to straighten my hair, I put on a wig get you a wig put it on it's in style blah 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 it'll look nice and you won't have to touch your hair um the next thing is dyeing your hair dyeing your hair does damage your hair i don't care what anybody says it damages your hair um i used to damage i used to damage my hair a lot i did use to damage my hair a lot but no i used to color my hair a lot a lot a lot and i have colored my hair since i colored my hair maybe a few months ago but 
I would say it's okay to color your hair, but do not color your hair all the time, which is what I was doing. Do not overdo it. Like straightening, don't overdo your hair. Um, and that's pretty much that for that. Um, a lot of people say deep conditioning helps. I honestly didn't deep condition once since two years ago I still haven't deep conditioned I do agree with them when I say when they say it does you know help your hair um it does but like I don't have enough time of the day if you have time go ahead and treat your hair do a nice mask you can use eggs or avocados or whatever I don't know um you can use home ingredients just do your thing or you can buy um does this say deep no it doesn't say deep conditioning or you can buy a deep conditioning thing that's already in a jar um and yeah that's that that's that part um what else can i say about hair um if i can go back in time i would big chop all over again it's definitely worth it um i don't really have much to say on this video because um i really didn't do much i cut my hair and i kept it moving um, I use the same products that I used back then. I still use them. My hair is still growing. I have a little bit of shrinkage, you know, like everyone who has curly hair. My hair is right there if I stretch it out. And this is what I do. Like, instead of like straightening my hair, I just kind of pull it to see where it's at because I don't want to straighten my hair. But, um, what else was I going to say? I don't know what else I was going to say. I mean, this video is going to be short as hell because my journey was nothing but me chopping my hair off and using these products. Like, that's it. This is like the simple, the simple version to what you need to do. Because people be like, buy this product, buy, this, blah, 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 buy all these products, and then you're going to look like this. Like, no, um, you can choose one of these products. Just get a, a leave-in conditioner and you'll be okay. Um... Do not trim your hair every other week. Space that shit out. Like, trim it every once a year. Like, you do not need trims. Stop, stop letting people tell you, you know, you need to cut your hair every couple of weeks. Um, my hair looks like I kind of have, like, a, a weird cut or whatever. But my hair grows in layers. I don't know why. It has always did that and it kind of pissed me off a little bit but it is what it is um that's pretty much it to this video i mean i'm gonna leave like videos or photos of what i look like before to what i look like now um i'm gonna leave the times the dates the whatever the year um and i'm gonna let y'all look at that because this is it this is this that's all i did and it's gonna be really easy for you if you want to go natural or you want to stop damaging your hair or you want your hair to grow long because I know what it's like for your hair to be at one length for years and you see other people around you growing their hair and you're like what the hell's wrong with my hair you know but yeah that's pretty much that this is my natural hair video um yeah thank you guys for watching this is gonna be really short it's gonna be like two minutes <laughs> but I mean yeah I get a lot of questions on my hair and a lot of people wonder like how it grew fast or whatever because they see me you know and it's growing mm, and that's all this was for for people so thank you guys for watching I will be back with other videos I am so sad I did not record this makeup look because I think it's really cute I was trying something different but um I probably will recreate it on camera for you guys if you want if you want it let me know if you don't let me know then I won't waste my time and do it tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it thank you guys for watching my channel bye